that few overtime left in the second half was just demoralizing. Edie, Jackson Davis, and the tip controlled by IU. What should we pay attention to early? Early is the post-up defense by both teams and how they choose to double team on Edie, but also right there, you see right there on Trace Jackson Davis. Caleb first swiping the basketball. First did not start in their last game. Had a little flu. Now he's back in the starting lineup. Here's Edie, draws a triple team, holding it up high. They swing it. Morton, short, batted out, and the Hoosiers come the other way. Hood Shafina. Purdue beat Ohio State 82 55 last Sunday here in West Lafayette. Boilermakers 24 4, 13 and 4 in conference play. Now Jackson Davis showing his versatility. Top of the key. Seven to shoot. Baseline. Thompson. And Gus, early on, keep an eye. Zach Eady is guarding Grace Thompson. Why? Because when Trace Jackson gets it in the post, Eady is going to come double in his size. Going to jump shot way off the mark. Air ball. Morton tracks it down. Drives. Deals. And a foul. Ray stops a call for the foul. His first. So the big man. Zachy. Good free throw shooter. 74% at 7-4. That's rare. It's rare, but it's great because at the end of the game, the scenario is when he's going to touch the ball a lot and dominate the ball. You trust that he can do this, get to the free throw line and knock in the necessary ones to secure a victory for Purdue. Edie averages 22 points and 13 rebounds per game, two and a half blocks. Put Shafino off the heel, long rebound. Plucked down by Lawyer. He's the sharpshooter. Off the dribble now. Great atmosphere here, West Lafayette. Smith all the way to the hole, makes it high and in. They got to Booger with him, Gus. They got to Moxie to him. And you see how quick he was able to get to his spot, but then be creative enough to get it high off the glass for a nice two. Thompson looking inside for Jackson Davis. Galloway, bounce pass, Thompson hangs. Rejected. Here come the Boilers. Smith in traffic. Baseline first. Power dribble up and in. Six set. Boilers. This crowd ready for this game after losing. 79-74 to Indiana. In Bloomington on February 4th. Put Fina, freshman, teardrop. Off the back rim, no, and a foul. Ethan Morton called for the foul. This young man doesn't try to play outside of what he's capable of. And he's bigger than and you he's think. A lot bigger than you think. And he's grown so much to prepare himself for this type of atmosphere at moment. Indiana finally on the board, 6-1. Here's Edie. Cross the lane. Yeah. Loose ball. He hits a deck. Picked up. Trace Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis announcing recently that he is definitely leaving IU after this season. And Trey Galloway buries a jump shot. Galloway, a good three-point shooter on the season at 50%. Very important to Galloway. Miller Cox, Tamar Bates, the role players have to show up and hit shots on the roll. Here's Smith on a curl down the lane, cut off. Skip pass, Warrior, pull up jump shot, in traffic. <laughs> Fletcher Lawyer. 12 points a game on the season. And he can shoot the three ball as well. Put your feet on. Stop and start. Oh! Mm, tricky, tricky. <laughs> what I tell you? I'm telling you, plays under control. The beauty about it is in this game like this, he can't be afforded to be speeded up. 
Ospeta. Because if you do that, it's going to affect your offense right there. Beautiful play. Eady jump hook inside. Missed it again. Jackson Davis with the board. But you feed him the other way. Galloway galloping to the basket. High and no. I love this great Smith, though. Ian Lawyer together. We're going to be four-year starters as Morton drills a corner jump shot. Ethan Morton coming off a seven-point game against Ohio State. That seven points were his most since he had ten also against Ohio State on January 5th. First three of the game for Purdue. You see the effect that Braden Smith is able to beat his initial defender off the dribble. Pull up jump shot B. That one off the mark for Miller Cock. Inside first. Nice look. IU four times. Lost four, four times. times. <laughs> You know, it's Matt Painter and Mike Woodson have a unique perspective, not only of playing, but now coaching them. Ruchifino, survey. Now Jackson Davis. It's been hard for him to find touches. Drawn a lot of attention. The kick, five to shoot. Ruchifino, 16-footer, off the heel. Long rebound. Here's Smith. This kid's a little bulldog here. He worked so hard today before the game on the little things, that teardrop shot in particular. And jump ball is a call, arrow favoring Purdue. For Trace Jackson Davis. Up and in. Lawyer trying to get it to stay down. 13.50 to play in the first half. Not an empty seat in the building. Richard and he's fouled. To the free throw line. Mason Gill has called for the foul on the three point line in 30 minutes. He's got five tonight. You know, full court press for Indiana. Man to man, just to buy some time, bleed the clock. Shot clock at Purdue. Morton gets it over the line. Inside, here's Edie, keeps it up high and in. Your deep post position, you're not there quick enough. He's going to drop another 30-point game like we saw up in Indiana. I mean, up at, uh, in Bloomington. Edie again. Jump hook, baseline side. What a touch. That's his first field goal tonight to make it a 15-8 game. Hutch and Fino left hand this time, and he'll get the roll. Great response that time by Hutch and Fino to come right back quiet the crowd. Richard Fino with 7, 15 to 10. And you played with Yao Ming, didn't you? You know it, just yeah. like that. <laughs> oh, just, okay. to, just like the difference with Yao is he can step out on the pick and pop at about 15, 18 feet and knock down the jump shot again. Zach is still young in his basketball skill set and maybe can develop something like that down the line. We never know. Cox, baseline jumper. Strong. Lawyer gives it up to Smith. Pull up straight away. Rick. And loose ball picked up. Renew outlet. Nice bounce pass. Cobb gets to the hole. Double pump and in. Beautiful. Beautiful fast break, Gus. You know why? Long shot, long rebound. He get it up quick. Didn't even think about it. Cal Galloway got it over to Cop, and Cop was able to maneuver that, swing it around off the glass nicely. Mike Woodson telling us in the locker room before the game that his team on the road has to weather the storm. Lawyer off balance in and out. Jackson Davis brings it up the floor. Cop pull up Jay and hits. That's a three-point field goal, 17-15. And that's the added value of Trace Jackson Davis when he worked over over the summer, Gus, was initiating the offense off the dribble. Uh -uh. Early ball. That's how you used to play at the park, Jim. Oh, big time. Listen, when you have the advantage, you take control of it every time that you can. What will help the post defense is taking away the post pass. Put your feet on pure. This kid is going to be a star. 
not only in this league, but in the country. He's got poise, just a maturity, and skill set. Did you say something about pressure early? I think he accepts that, brother. You know? Here's Edie on the opposite side. Triple T, ball deflected. Renew, great hand. And Galloway steps into a jump shot. And they look for Edie inside once again. to be able to get a shot off. All those mid-game adjustments. And here's our guy again getting inside, Gus. And Gillis with the rebound. Lost it, and five coming up against I. And he missed the first one. Matt Painter, what a job he's done here at Purdue. It is 18th season, taking over for a legend in Coach Gene Cady. Big Ten coach to win 400 games overall. Joining Tom is Bob Knight, Gene Cady, and Lou Henson. From Illinois, Coach Fido inside, Jackson Davis. Having a hard time finding opportunities. That was his first shot of the game. Not a lot of space early in this game for him to operate. Inside jump hook. Kaufman Reno picked up by Renu. Let's see if they use Jackson Davis right here in the post to try to get him, maybe not isolated, but to be able to get some movement around him to create enough space for him to work. There's the double. And a steal. Outlet pass. Jenkins. Pull up Jay. And look at Smith with a rebound and step back. He's bulldog, folks. Great Smith. Four points and four rebounds for the smallest man on the floor. Jalen Hood Shafino with the answer. He almost sounds like a, like a, yeah. Yeah, that's a, it. a name out of a <laughs> Mario <laughs> Cruzo Cruzo it, exactly. Good like he didn't know he did. That's right. <laughs> but he could add to that legend and that nostalgia by playing big and big games like this. Smith driving straight there. And Cop with the hand on it knocks it out of bounds. Had him against Arizona out in Las Vegas earlier during the year. And Jalen had a back injury. Didn't get a chance to play. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, and two boards per game. How he's progressed as a player. We've seen that so many times with Matt Painter and his post players in this program. 24 20. With Shafito. Works it up the floor. He draws Brandon Newman. With Shafito, 15 foot lead in. No. Gets his own rebound. Counted on the foul. Putting up great numbers in his freshman year, 13 a game, four dimes, four rebounds, 24-23. He's got 15 already on five of eight shooting. And this is where you want to be if you're Indiana for Mike Woodson, right in the balance. Purdue came out hot, the crowd was into it, but you were able to get your, ease your way back in the game, only down one right now. Here's Edie, nice position. Got such a soft touch around the rim. But also, he recognizes how to go quickly now before the double team can get to him. That's the growth and maturity in his offensive game. And Edie with the board. That's a Bobby Deer move right there. Except I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to slow down and hand you the ball so you can wait for me to get up the floor. That's true. Davis averages 21 points a game and 11 rebounds. Also four assists. Lawyer trying to force his way down the lane. Cut off. Here's Edie again. Inside, big fella. 
giving a possession back to Purdue. David Jenkins with the number one subs at Michigan State. His dad, John, is a Clipper scout. I mean, the future is so bright for Matt Painter with this backcourt of Lloyd and also Smith just growing in front of our eyes a lot like Shafino. And the key to both of these teams is guard play right now, steady as it goes for Purdue early. Purdue 7 of 8 from the free throw line. And with Shafino Mill oh. batted around and a foul coming up. And he missed it. 28-23. 650 to play. First half for West Lafayette, Indiana. Legendary. Mackey Arena. Here's Jackson Davis. Left hand way too strong. And that time Gus Mike Woodson tried to put Trace Jackson Davis in the middle of the court. Why? To try to give him more space, but smartly, Zach Eady backed off a little bit, forced. TJD to come to him in his side. Top of the yard to you. Long rebounds. Jenkins, new shot clock. And they look for Edie. He's followed our backcourt for the next four years. Uh, how things work out and think about backcourt. I don't know how long he's going to be wearing the IU uniform, so he better <laughs> soak it up now. But a lot of things happen like that. You're talking about also, too, Braden Smith. This is Indiana's Mr. Basketball. Okay, so for Matt Painter to judge that early on, especially with Lawyer, to say, I see the future and how we want to play and what these young men can be. 28 25. Feeder, red hot. For IU, he's got 17. Power dribble. Feeder. That one may have been deflected. Loose ball first. And they'll go up strong and break it down. And actually, Feeder got Passed it over to Caleb first. A dump off pass inside, recognizing the double team was on him at first was open. Look at the confidence this kid right here. Woo. Rucker Park handle, 14 footer, rattled it in. <laughs> he scored the last 10 for IU. And Jenkins, offensive foul, looks like he pushed off. Yes. Great Smith at the line the last time he faced Indiana, he was one for eight, four points. And the second one goes down. I guess better job at the free throw line. Purdue at Indiana, 10 for 17. Uncharacteristic right now. They're 9 for 11. Again, playing at home, feeling more comfortable, able to convert from the free throw line. Put your feet on. Nice bounce pass. Jackson Davis off balance. Goes down hard. No call. More Baseline. Smith downtown. Edie rebound and five. To Trace Jackson Davis and taking that lob pass in the middle away. At least a share of the regular season title in the Big Ten Conference. Well, you're talking about the big picture too, guys. To be able to win the regular season, get yourself in a position to win the Big Ten tournament. You want that number one seed in the tournament. Which your feet on a three. That one may have been partially deflected. Smith, speed dribble into the front court. Looking for Edie. There's a switch. Lawyer back to Smith. Edie, position again. And an offensive foul. Fans don't like that one. has 19 points. Indiana ranks 17th in the nation. Purdue number five. Here's with Shafina. Putting on a clinic with his hand up. In the corner. Baseline. Cop. And Edie with the board. Because I believe since 1994, this is the first time these two teams have played in Mackey when they've both been in the top 20. Gillis, Lawyer, ball knocked around, and Gillis scoops it up. Newman slips out of his hands. Third turnover. And out of 
bounds on IU. Jackson Davis is doing, although his office, office, mm -hmm. offense isn't there right now. He's playing Edie as hard as he possibly can. And there's a foul. A little bit in that game in Bloomington. Wish them to have the double team. And he missed both. Mm. Race Thompson back in the game. Thompson, puts your feet up. Galloway, Cobb, and Bates. Here's the runner inside. Butch Shafino again. 21 on 8 of 13 shooting. And that's the challenge with that drop defense even deeper. Is that Hush Shafino is going to get to a spot. He's going to be comfortable shooting that runner. Smith hanging. Edie, and he's fouled again. are so big and the ball is so small here. Will Chamberlain the same way. Kareem had smaller hands, so hence he was a better free throw shooter. Galloway, nice pass to Thompson. He passed it up. And the turnover coming up. Important Indiana. You've kind of gotten your way through this first half with not having TJB really effective. You can't allow it to slip away these last two minutes. Lawyer. Picks it up in no man's land and a traveling violation call. They only turn it over 12 times a game. Galloway around the corner and a foul on the floor. Baseline fade. Put your feet on. No and a whistle. This one will go against the Boilermakers. That will grow under the tutelage of this Indiana coaching staff. Approaching the one-minute mark of the first half, 35-32, Boilermakers. Top of the yard, Lawyer inside, Edie, jump hook, in and out. Popped out of bounds, no, Smith saved it. And he'll back it up and run some clock here. Purdue with no field goals in the last 440. Now Lawyer up. Rims out of there. Hooch feet on the other way. High step. Gets to the cup. Rejected. And a foul on the floor underneath. Shot clock turned off. Game clock at 20. Great Smith. Got an excellent first half. Man playing with so much heart and leadership. Edie back in the game. They're gonna keep his hands full. Backside Smith. Newman step back. Boom. Davis off balance shot. Edie just takes it away. Well, you see the mindset too. Mike Woodson out of it coming out the half went right into Trace Jackson Davis. I don't think that was the best decision on that shot. Great Smith circling. Edie calling for it. He's got Jackson Davis. Now he comes out the screen. High pick and roll. Seven to shoot. Smith baseline. Quick one. And it's saved from going out of bounds by Jackson Davis. Galloway in the corner. Cop rising fire. Thompson, offensive rebound rejected by Edie. Lawyer plucks it out of the air. Size wins <laughs> on that one right there. Inside, Edie. Nice dunk down. And in for first. When you talk about offensive progression, scoring the basketball, but how about being able to read defenses better and not only read them, Gus, but make them pay by improving his passing out of those double teams? Edie averaging almost two assists per game, 11 team assists for the Boilermakers. Galloway. Got it. Trey Galloway. Culver, Indiana, 
junior. At 11 against Michigan State on Tuesday in 32 minutes. He's got six now. Smith down the lane. In the corner. First. Rims off. Nice job by Race Thompson. Tipping it to one of his teammates. Yeah, he couldn't get it, but he tipped it out. How about the beautiful pass by Braden Smith, the first in the corner? Put your feet off the bounce. Pure. Right hand. hands. That's why Matt Painter wanted to get Jay Hood. Jay Hood off of that right hand because he's so effective going that way. They wanted to push him left, but he's so good at crafty to get back to his sweet spot. 25 points on 10 of 16 shooting. How great is it for this young man to have Mike Woodson as his head coach? Also, here's a steal. Galloway, again, off balance and good. Drake Galloway playing hard, aggressive, focused, and Indiana with their first lead of the game. Remember, if Purdue wins this game, they will clinch at least a share of the Big Ten Championship. In transition. I like how prepared this Indiana team is. And also, their effort. And Galloway again. Make it a play and a whistle and foul. They come out in the second half right now. Start to impose the well a little bit more, feel good about themselves. Now I have the lead. And this man is keeping him in the game while this man struggles tonight. They swing it. Baseline, Galloway. Got it. Trey Galloway came to ball tonight. 10 0 run for the Hoosiers, who take a 44 40 lead on the road against their arch rival. Down the lane, the Lawyer couldn't get it up high enough. Out of bounds and sprint all the way over, but he was late to the party. And foul ball on Morton. That tells you how busy they've been getting in the Big Ten. Four point lead for Indiana. Inside, Thompson nicely done. Tell you what, Trey Galloway has come out in the second half, and he's playing his heart out. 12 0 run for IU. He's hitting shots. He's forcing steals. He's dropping dimes. And Thompson with a steal. And Lawyer has to identify where to throw that ball. He floated it. Easy steal on the backside. Cop the kick. Thompson the three. May not be his shot. But that's why he's open. <laughs> for him to, to take it. Coach, I was open. Yeah, and they for say, you know what? Reason. For a reason. Lawyer. Oh, go stick jumper. At point blank range. That stops the bleeding. 46 to 42. Ending that 12 0 run for Indiana. Jackson Davis remaining patient. In the corner. Cop again open. Good. Terrific pass by Trace Jackson Davis. And that gives the Hoosiers a 49-42 lead. If you give a double team and Trace Jackson is going to regulate himself to turn into the baseline, you're going to take that away. Oh, uh, Morton in the corner. And right now, Purdue looks a little rapid. They do. But Indiana stayed the course, never panicked, put themselves in position when they made a little run. They were able to take the lead, and right now, momentum has been on their side. With your feet up, bouncing, leading. Thompson with the rebound. Baseline turn, air ball. Morton in the corner. Purdue shooting 38% now. And how about Zach Eady? No touches, really, no shots. They've done that, hence, seven point lead right now for Indiana. Jackson Davis spinning, and he turned it over. Lawyer flying to the hoop. The kick, get it. Put your feet on the other way. Now 
able to peel it back. Inside, Thompson and a touchdown. Time out, Purdue. About to handle things now. Let's see if Purdue can make their own run and get their crowd back into this game. Indiana has taken the air out of this building. Lawyer driving gets there and fouled hard. Freshman of the week. Butchafino dancing, contested and rattles it in. Man, man. This kid. Eighth after a career high 21. The previous game versus Iowa. Now putting up gaudy numbers. Edie's been quiet. Lawyer, I'll talk for you. Fletch with 10. 53 46. Here they come. Some of the best fans in all the college ball. 14,240. Got an empty seat in the house. And Purdue trying to force a turnover. Edie in and out. And Newman can't get it to stay down, but he draws the foul. Lafayette to get a physics lecture from you. That sounds like physics. It is. It, from a basketball perspective, because in physics, too, you know, the push and pull, the attraction, all of that stuff is the same thing as basketball. That you make that adjustment, you have a game plan, but then as the game bleeds on, you have to make those adjustments on the fly quickly. 53-48. Let's see how Indiana handles the pressure of having the lead on the road. Butch Shafino lobs it inside and a foul. Well, I know that the faithful didn't like that foul, but once Trace Jackson Davis left his feet, he's vulnerable. And any kind of contact could cause some kind of harm. And there was some contact on that play by Edie Hintz. The officials made the call. Indiana has led by as many as nine. Up top, Gillis. Purdue is led by as many as seven. Purdue right now three for ten. In the second half, one for six from behind the three-point line. Far cry different than what we saw in the first. Luchacino. Cop. Inside and little cop. He's been hitting some big shots this evening. He's got 13 on five of nine shooting. He does accept his role. He's not going to get a lot of plays run for him, Gus, but he puts himself in a position. Here's Edie. Short-armed it. Jackson Davis now playing the point forward. And we, and we see Edie short-arm a couple of those shots that he has inside. Galloway, nice box pass. The first layup. Jackson Davis for guess who? Trey Galloway. And Indiana has... Their largest lead of the game. 59-48. And follow the baseline. For Trace Jackson Davis to catch, gather, and finish on the other side. Trey Galloway, a Swiss Army knife tonight, folks. He's doing a little bit of everything. Now Edie, with terrific position, leans in and lays it in. 59-50. Approaching the 10-minute mark of the second half. A win here for Indiana. Huge. Jackson Davis. Back down. Jump for And good. That's his first field goal of the night. 61-50. Edie. Rolling. And foul. With the lead. Second free throw goes. How about Matt Payne playing the clock? 
He gives Akiti a little break right now. Plus, you got the eight minute timeout. You can bring it back in after that. He can ride it out for the rest of the game. Galloway has been crafty. In and out dribble. The kick. Thompson explodes. Fades. No. Renew. Yes! Malik Renew. First bucket of the night. 63 to 52. And how about this, guys? 28 26 points in the paint in favor of Indiana. Smith reloads. Seven to shoot. He drive baseline and an offensive foul called. Always under control. Indiana looking for the season sweep over Purdue. 15 foot. Lawyer, Edie back in the game. Quick passing, Jenkins. 820 to go. IU shooting 65% from the field this half. Purdue only 31%. Push Fino, the leader. Nice box out by Jenkins and foul on the baseline by Renew. That should be his fourth. Hey, Mom, I know she's probably sitting there watching. Oh, she watched it. Uh -huh. uh, I thought I was doing the game with Tisha. Oh, Gus, okay. Hood <laughs> Fino. Purdue shooting 26% from the field here in the second half. Indiana at a whopping 62%. One reason, this young man here, number one, Jalen Hood Shafino. He's been brilliant. 29 points. Galloway. Oh, he tried to flush it on a seven foot four guy. Woo! Smith missed it. And Edie with the rebound. Just couldn't finish inside for Galloway. What has Coach Woodson done, Jimmy? He's the points in the paint now is in the edge. 7.15 to play. In regulation. Good Shafino on balance. Lawyer. Baseline. Gillis. Fumbling. And five. And he misses the second, but the Boilers get the rebound. Ten point game. Smith up top. Gillis looking for Edie. Turns and he's fouled. Get the second. He's 10 of 14. Purdue with only one time on left. Newman and a steal and a foul. Throw shooter. Will be called a little tighter, and it has been. This is the 31st free throw for Purdue, but not able to capitalize 21 to 31. Still an eternity left in this game. 6-27, put your feet on driving in, but Jackson Davis is there for the follow. 67-56, he's got eight points now. Twenty-two and eleven. It does not that it really matters, but you got Grace Thompson guarding Edie because of the four fouls of Trace Jackson Davis. Grace Thompson with four as well. Cop been wonderful in this game. Eight to shoot. Jackson Davis 
Buccifino breaks to the ball, drives, pulls, pio! And he's over 30 now, 31 points. Jalen Buccifino, folks, is a fresh. Edie. Lawyer. That one deflected by Jackson Davis with 10 to shoot. Newman deep. Inside Edie with the rebound and he's jammed. <laughs> 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 when it counts, go get it. Get <laughs> it. Listen, and they did a good job of initially blocking him out. But you can only hold on for so long. 69-60. <laughs> that life preserver ain't worth, brother. Cop rolling. Put your feet on the teardrop. Got it again. He's got 33. This kid's amazing. 71 to 60. That ties his career high. And he's not finished. Edie, our balance this time. Give us with the offensive rebound. Newman, step back three. Guess who? Edie. Lawyer. Gillis again. Turn around, Jay. Got it. Purdue refusing to quit. 71 62. Galloway trying to waste a little time. Good Shafino. Look at the handle. Drives. Stops. Kicks. He traveled, he got away with it. Galloway and a runner. Edie. 313 to go. Smith. Reverse layup. No, and Galloway just snatches it down. Outlet pass. Jackson Davis, two hand jam. How about these Hoosiers? I thought you were going to get stuck with that one. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, the dude. 250 to go. Down 73 to 62. Smith. And Lawyer is fouled. The dude has only lost one home game this year, and that was to Rutgers. And. Fletcher Lawyer, fouled by Miller Cop, who picks up his four. So Miller Cop was there in position. Remember in the first half, Gus talked about this, the ability for Braden Smith to get down here, get into the paint, caused a lot of problems for Indiana to have to rotate over, open up offensive rebounds, drop off. In the second half, he hasn't been able to do that. Successfully enough to force Indiana to have to help in. It's a great adjustment defensively by Indiana. Dude's missing free throws. Oh, yeah. Tonight. I mean, 22 now for 32. I mean, that was an Achilles heel in Bloomington when they were 10 for 17. The dude also 3 of 19 from the three point line. Indiana in no rush. Galloway. It's been heroic. Pick and roll. Floater. Off the heel. Smith. Cross court, Lawyer's got to hit one. And Jackson Davis with the rebound. Jackson Davis with 10 points now. He was scoreless at halftime. But this man has carried the load for Indiana offensively. Low turnover for the Hoosiers as well. Galloway, slipping. And the arrow. Favoring IU. These two games against Indiana, that hasn't been the case. 
Here's Huchifino, five to shoot. I don't know if he knows how much time is on the clock. Now he recognizes, tosses it up, and that's a violation. Shot clock violation. And that should, that should never happen, Gus. You know? Coming out of a timeout. Yep. That should never happen coming out of it. And they, Woody is saying that you know that. Boy, has he gotten quiet in here, Jim. Hey, beginning of the second half, when Indiana made that run, they put the same, they put the fans back in their seats, guys. Smith hands it off, Edie. Off balance. Loose ball, Newman there. Edie trying to grab it out of bounds. And Purdue will hold on to the ball with a minute and 19 to go. Down 73 to 63. Because we made this, we were talking off air too, that all the pressure was on Purdue in this game. And I in Indiana, even though you won the game before, you come in. Expectations are that Purdue, the fans, and everything are going to somehow will the team to win. And once you shift things and it looks like so, it, the ball is off of Jackson Davis, it's been a different outcome, different purpose in this second half for the Hoosiers. Newman, the inbounder, lawyer, gets it off. Grace Thompson saves it. There the hustle plays again. Cop. Galloway. Gonna play keep away now. Rich Fino. He's going to set a new career high tonight. He's got 33. Guys, you know what really impressed me? And again, we still have a minute left in this game. But number 23, with all the hype of the matchup with he and Zach Eady, despite not having the big numbers, have we once seen him force the situation to try to get his points? Not one time. That's a level of leadership that you expect from, you know, upper class. He became a great defender, a great passer, unselfish. And as a result, you allow the others to benefit off that unselfishness and put yourself in the situation with your team to walk out of this tough environment, this rivalry, with the W and sweep the series for the year. Put Shafino with the career high 25. And tapped up and in. Excuse me, 35. And take the inbounds pass. Galloway got it over the line. Race Thompson foul. With 38.9 to play. And they're starting to feel it now on that Indiana bench. Thompson's played some really nice defense as well on Edie, making it hard for him. <laughs> as hard as you can. As Gus. hard as you can. Gus. As hard as you can, man. I mean, my goodness, bro. Second free throw goes. 36 seconds to go. Indiana looking for their 20th win on the season. Their 11th win in the Big Ten. Newman batted out. Smith in the corner to Lawyer, and he hits. Indiana had lost seven straight here at Mackey. Galloway! Exclamation point. Mike Woodson. He told us he never won a game in West Lafayette as a player. But hey, coach. You just won one as the head man. 79-71, IU wins a big one on the road, denying Purdue a share of the Big Ten Championship.